Hey everybody, happy Thursday. I know I said yesterday I wasn't gonna go live today, but once again, things have changed. I had a trip planned today with my mom, a day trip to do some Christmas shopping, and we're, we had to reschedule it. So here I am, and I'm glad you guys hopefully will find me. Some of you are jumping on. I can see that you have found me good. Let me share this over to my page. I forget to do this most of the time. All right, hello, hello everyone. It's so good to see you again. I am glad that it worked out today because I was a little bit worried about getting 12 days of Christmas in before my kids are home from school, but now I think we'll be able to do it. Hi everybody. Welcome, good to see you. So today is day two, and we're doing two projects. We're making two projects with a Peaceful Deer stamp set and matching punch. And if you guys don't know, we have a new catalog coming out in January. It's called the January to June mini catalog. I call it the spring catalog. Um, and there is a new stamp set in that catalog that coordinates with this punch. Don't you love when that happens? I love when there's a set of dies or a punch and there's multiple stamp sets to go with it. You really get um, more use, I think, out of your tools that way. So if you haven't gotten it yet, it's been on back order for a really long time. Um, you need to get it because there's another stamp set coming that will coordinate with a cute little deer. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, hopefully you guys caught yesterday. We did the penguin. These guys. That video is uploaded on my blog. Has anybody checked? I'm pretty sure that blog post went up a few minutes ago for today. The details for today's projects will be over there. The measurements for the box that we're making. And the supply list for both is at the very bottom. There's no PDF for the 12 days. I just have to simplify it a little bit <laughs> to get it all done. So it's just on a blog post. Hopefully you guys can find it. All right, good. I can see your comments over here on my, um, on my iPad. I can't see them on my phone. Um, if you guys don't know, this catalog is retiring. Um, it goes through January 3rd, um, but uh, yesterday, right? Yesterday was the first they announced the last chance list, which is also known as the retired list. Everything in here that's leaving has been marked, so you know, and it's all while supplies last. And a few things have already sold out, um, but there's a lot left too. Um, I posted a little while ago here on Facebook some images of the items that are 50% off. There is a handful, I think there are 10 altogether that are 50% off, a collection of dies, and those um, polar bear dies, is that what they're called? Polar bear dies or Arctic bear dies. Those are on low inventory, which means they were probably gonna sell out before I even get to do them on day, what day did I have that? Day 10, which makes me sad because I really haven't even used them at all. And I haven't planned those projects yet. But if you want them, you need to go check them out. They're 50% off, which is a really good price. And then you can add on the stamp set, and you'll have a cute little polar bear set. And that set isn't um, necessarily Christmas. It will carry on through the rest of the year too. Um, but anyway, if you want the schedule, I have updated it. Um, what I did do is I put Friday, next Friday, no live. Um, that's tentative. My mom and I are planning a shopping trip. That's where we were gonna go today. Um, and she has been under the weather. So we had to reschedule. Um, and we're either, we're gonna try to do it next Friday um, but it may be Saturday. So as of right now, I'm going to say that there won't be a Facebook Live that, that day. But who knows? I've changed it like 14 times already. So maybe we'll change it again. Just check every day to see. Who knows? Last year, I didn't have to change it at all, I don't think, the schedule. But this year has been different. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all the things that I went through yesterday. Um, most of you were here yesterday. So you saw there's the um calendar class to go i'm offering is still open the um pretty pillow box christmas treats class i have a few of those kits left if you want one um email me same with the be jolly stamp set um that kit that's 10 cards in that kit i have a few of those left um what else was i going to tell you um all-star tutorial bundle is out 
if you are a subscriber, I emailed that out yesterday. If you didn't get it, let me know. There's always like four or five that don't arrive for some reason. Um, but you can also find that in my PDF store. It has 12 videos in it. If you like the bloom where you're planted, sweet. There are 12 projects there. And then, um, what else? There was one more thing. Oh, uh, Club Create. That is closing for this month um, on, what's the seventh? Tuesday. And you can see behind me, I've already started cutting. Um, I'm trying to work way ahead and I've estimated how many people, how many kits I'm going to need. See over there? That's how sometimes I end up with extra because I work way ahead and I guess to see how many, I think, okay, I think maybe it'll be this many people. Um, sometimes it bites me in the butt because I don't cut enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes I cut too many. So you just never know. But anyway, you can find details on Club Create on that tab at the top of my blog. All right, well, let's get started. Um, let's see. Oh, how about prizes? So prizes are, I'm doing prizes different in December. Um, you have to go to my blog, scroll down and find the link that um, takes you to a form and you answer some questions. And it's dumb questions like, what's your favorite Christmas movie, I think, today's question, and then your mailing address. That way, when I pick somebody, I already have your mailing address. You know, when I pick randomly on Facebook of people who've shared, I have to wait for them to contact me, and sometimes they don't, and I can't send them their prize, but this way, I will have your, your mailing address. So yesterday's prize winner, I've already printed her address. And what I did do, I had 228 entries. So I went to random number generator. Have you guys ever looked? If you ever need to like pick a random number, just Google random number generator. I used to do it all the time when I was teaching. Um, and I picked, now I can't remember what the number was, 168, I think. And the winner is Ember Avila. Ember, I have your mailing address because you put it on the form. So yay, thank you um, for entering and I will get this in the mail to you tomorrow. So today, what am I giving away? Ooh, this is a good one. This is the seasonal Christmas seasons bundle. We did this Facebook Friday last Friday before Thanksgiving. It has those great seasonal label dies. So if you'd like to win this, go over to pinkbabaroo.com, scroll down, click the link, go enter. And I will announce a winner tomorrow two o'clock central, and then I'll have a new prize, okay? 12 prizes I'm giving away. Okay, I think I'm ready to flip you guys over. Let me do that real quick, and we'll get started with a peaceful deer. Now, how many of you, we've used two punches in a row. We use the penguin punch, and then today we're using the peaceful deer punch. Let me see. I have my fan on. Let's see if that camera will sit still because it gets so hot in here. Let me give it a minute. See if it'll, if it'll stop. Um, how many of you like a punch as opposed to dies? You know, I, I used to say, I think I preferred punches, but now I think I prefer dies because squeezing, um, punches. I know a lot of you have told me this too. Um, I have tennis elbow, um, residual effects from tennis elbow a couple of years ago. And if I punch too many times, it hurts. So I've gotten to wear the die, although that does some elbow work too, but it doesn't seem to be quite as bad. But anyway, punch or die. What do you guys, if you can only pick one to use, which one would it be? Would it be a die, set of dies or punches? I don't know. Um, anyway, before we start too, I wanted to tell you that Here's the host code. If you want to put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, I will send you free make and takes. You'll get one. And now I'm realizing it's going to be three make and takes, either from yesterday, today, Friday, and Monday. I think one of them will be this make and take. And then one of them will be the box that we're doing today. And then I'll just have to look to see what the other ones will be. But you'll get three free make and takes with any order over uh, $35 using that host code. You can order anything you want. It doesn't matter to me. I would shop the clearance rack first and the last chance list because um, there is really good stuff on there. Um, and then I'll send them to you next week. They look like this. Obviously, you'll need the stamps and the punch or the dies that I'm featuring. What are we doing tomorrow? Frosted gingerbread. So you would need the gingerbread dies. Um, and then that's it. Ink stamps. I don't pre-stamp anything. You'll need the stamps um, and adhesive or whatever. And then I send you a little thank you tag. That's what that is. I don't pre-stamp anything for you. Um, but they'll come to you in the mail for free um, as a thank you from me to you for your order. 
Um, if you guys are wanting to order, get stuff before Christmas, they're saying December 9th is the, the deadline this year. Uh, and I would even venture to say, do it earlier than that. Because <laughs> you know how the you know how the mail service is. We had somebody in the neighborhood post on our neighborhood page um, yesterday that there's obvious there's some there's a delivery service and maybe it's only in Texas called L S O Lone Star something like that. Anyway, they dumped a whole bunch of packages on her porch, and it wasn't even streets in our neighborhood. Like eight packages on her porch. <laughs> so who knows? You know who knows if your packages are going to get to you. You never know. You never know. All right, so we're gonna do Peaceful Deer. Um, this is a card, and this card has quite a few elements on it. I am using these dies. These are the Christmas tree dies. Um, they're beautiful. I really like these, these tall, skinny, kind of topiary Christmas trees, and that just gave me an idea. If you use one of the, the um, pots from the, um, oh, you know, the plant set, Hello, the bloom where you're planted, and you made little topiaries with that. That would be cute. Anyway, I just had that idea. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but the, that's what we're doing, and we're going to add those behind that deer to give them a little something, something. A little something, something. I've cut them out from um, metallic, our brushed metallic cardstock. But first things first, we've got to do a little bit of watercoloring. Um, this is a stamp set. If you guys haven't looked closely at it, there are quite a few stamps in here. There are 20. This one and this one coordinate with a punch. Um, and then there's quite a few sentiments too. And this little thing, I'm not sure about that. Maybe if you're really good at fussy cutting, I'm not sure about that one, but that's supposed to, I guess, go maybe on his neck. I don't know. Maybe I guess if you stamp the deer flat, then you wouldn't have to fussy cut. I always think I have to fussy cut everything. I don't know about you guys. Okay. Let's do our little watercolor background first. I'm using Blackberry Bliss cardstock and I'm gonna use Rich Razzleberry ink. They are pretty close to the same thing, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna use the Blackberry Bliss cardstock and the Rich Razzleberry ink because it's a little bit lighter. Um, that Blackberry Bliss is very dark and I, I worry that it would be too dark. So I've got a water painter. I've got a stitched rectangle here um, cut from watercolor paper. And I've squeezed my ink pad and I'm just gonna add in some color here. And I just want it to be kind of abstract. And I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm just gonna let it go and be abstract. Usually I just wanna keep more and more and more and more. But this, we just want it to be a wash in the back. Okay, so that's all you gotta do. I'm gonna wipe that out. And then we'll let that dry and we will do all of our other elements. Actually, I need that right there. That paper right there. See, sometimes it runs, but that also makes it look really cool. Okay, so set that aside. And now I need grid paper. We're actually using a blending brush again today. We used one yesterday. Why do the comments keep disappearing? There, now I see you. All right, it's good to see you guys. So I have cut out a Blackberry Bliss cardstock, I mean a card base, and I've also cut out a Blackberry Bliss um, contour scallop rectangle. This is the largest one, and I want it to be a little bit darker than the card base. So I'm just gonna take my blending brush again and add some ink to the edges to just make it a little bit darker. Um, Blackberry Bliss, still the same color, but just a shade darker than the card base. All right, we'll set that aside, let that dry. Blackberry Bliss, look, <laughs> Blackberry Bliss is one of those inks like real red. It will get all over you. It definitely will get all over you and hopefully it doesn't get on my white paper. All right, so I have cut out a basic white stitched rectangle. Um, the stitched rectangle dies have three different triangles. Um, this is a right triangle, yes. <laughs> and then there's the long skinny triangle. And then what's the other one? Oh, and then 
a, like a shorter squat triangle. I can't remember now. There's three different kinds of triangles and then they're, they layer. There's a lot of dies in there. And you might not think you need triangle dies, but I love my triangle dies. I use them a lot. They're fun. Um, I even have some punch art, a pizza um, that I made out of this, which was really fun. So you gotta, you gotta check the, the stitch triangle dies out if you haven't, if you haven't already. All right, so I use those two topiary looking Christmas trees and I cut, um, how many did I cut? I think I cut four from each size, two um, in the darker bronze-ish color and then uh, two in the one of the golds. So I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them, we'll see. I'm gonna layer them on here, just kind of different heights. This, this is the brushed metallic cardstock, brushed metallic paper, brushed metallic cardstock. Um, let's see. And you know what, if you don't know, if you're not sure, just lay them on there until you think you got it, and then you can adhere them down. I'm gonna adhere a bunch of them flat, and then I'll add a couple more in with dimensionals. Okay, let's see. I think I'll use many dimensionals. And then we're gonna put that deer on top. Oops, on top. The only problem here with dimensionals on these is that you obviously can't put a dimensional on that skinny, that long skinny, um, trunk there but when you put your deer when you put your deer down on here it's not going to matter because you're going to squish all of them back behind your deer all right let's do that mm, no i don't like that let's see let's put that one let's do that all right let's do that there all right so just play around with it until it feels right and put them all down trim off any of those long trunks that are hanging around on the bottom and set that aside. Now for our deer, we're gonna stamp him or her. I think she looks more like a her. What do you guys think? She's really pretty. We gave her antlers. Now, my husband and I had this conversation the other day. Do female reindeers have antlers? I think they do. So if she's a... If she has no antlers, then she's got to be just a deer, right? I don't know. I'm overthinking it. I stamped her in um, soft suede, and I'm going to color her with crumb cake stamp and blend. The reason we had this discussion, I will tell you, I uh, was looking online for blow up, um, you know, the little blow up decorations you put in your yard. Um, for Christmas. One of ours, we have two, we had a snowman and a Santa, both dressed in um, like hunters, like cam in camo. And uh, Santa popped, like he had a hole in it, so we had to throw it away. So I was looking for a new one. And there were some really interesting <laughs> um, blow up animals for your front yard. Um, if you want to laugh, you can look those up. But um, we were discussing whether both male and female reindeer had antlers because of the questionable <laughs> blow up animals that we saw. Uh, I, was, I was shocked and amazed by what I saw. I didn't end up getting anything. I'm cheap, I don't wanna spend the money. Those things are expensive. All right, I'm adding in some dark crumb cake. I'm gonna put dark back where there would be a shadow kind of along the back side, underneath her chin, and then on the, her legs that are coming out from the back. And I'm gonna take my light and I'm gonna blend all that together. I may have used soft suede because I'm looking at my sample and it looks a lot darker. What do you guys think? I would be surprised. Cause usually I would think soft suede would be too dark, but you know what, whatever. It works either way. She's very pretty. Don't you think it's a female? I definitely think it's female. My glue dots are on the correct side of the wrapper. You know why that is, Terry? Because I unwrapped it and rewrapped it. 
If you guys have been around for a while, you'll know that glue dots are coming with the dots on this side of the paper and it is driving me crazy. And I will tell you that I did some research and the reason why is the company that makes glue dots has come out with um, like a stand for the glue dots so that when the, the roll comes out, the paper, the dots need to be on that side. So I bought the stand and it's awful. It is horrible. It falls over. It doesn't stand up. It, I threw it in the trash. So now to solve the problem, I am unwrapping my glue dots and rewrapping them the right way because I can't stand it. I can't stand them being on the wrong side. You know, when you have something the same way for 20 something years and then they switch it on you, it's very difficult to get used to. Very difficult. <laughs> it's funny that you notice that. Um, it must be bugging you too, Terry. Okay, now... Look at that. If you turn your punch over, you can line it up perfectly and punch out your cute little deer, your female deer. Do you guys unroll them too? Yeah. Christine, it's bothering you? Yeah, I know. Who? Well, it must have been a, a man who said, let's change this, right? Obviously not someone who's been a crafter for 20 years. <gasps> it's driving me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Okay, I'm hoping that they will rectify the situation somehow. I'm not sure if they will because they want to sell this ridiculous glue dot stand that is worthless. It's awful. Um, Sam it up does. Oh, look. Hey, I have an extra one. Did I put that on there and it came off? I think we need to add that. Oh, yes, we do need to add that. Um what was I going to say? Oh, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it. Maybe we will sell it, and then I'll be sorry that I said it stinks, but it does. <laughs> it bothers me. Uh, maybe some of you have it. Um, Robin, you too, huh? Uh, yeah, it is. It's driving me bonkers. Don't, uh, I would not say buy the, the glue dot stand, unless you want to try it, but I, I, I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all of the stand. Okay, they obviously did not call me and ask me my opinion before they made the change. I'm not sure why. They, they should have asked me. I could have told them. Very bad decision. <laughs> okay, here is our um, watercolor piece. And doesn't it look like polished pink? It's got tones of pink in it, obviously. When it spreads out, it's got pink in it, which is really beautiful. When I typed up the supply list the other day, I was only looking at the photo and I thought I used polished pink, but then when I came back and looked, I realized, no, that is rich razzleberry and it just has pink undertones in it. So I guess you could use polished pink if you wanted to. So I have a vellum circle that I put under there. I like to put a vellum circle between layers to help separate them. It makes the top layer kind of pop off more a little bit. So that's what that is. It's the largest circle uh, die um, that I cut that out with. And then I've got, I think I put on the supply list, you know, I, I make these projects and then I sit in front of the TV at night making these supply lists by looking at the photos and I can't remember exactly what I did, but I came to look, I think I put brushed metallic dots, which would totally work too, because that matches the brushed metallic paper. But when I looked closer, it was these um, gilded gems, either way, either way. But I did use this gorgeous gold ribbon gorgeous gorgeous gold ribbon and we're going to put a bow at the top of our tree now notice there's no sentiment or words on the front of our card we're going to put we're going to put those words on the inside sometimes i just don't want the words on the front of my card i don't like this end where's my pointer do i have it over here nope i don't i'm going to be forced to use this end i don't like the spatula end I know some of you use a lot. I like the pointer end better. There we go. So pretty. All right. And I am using up the rest of my glute, my dimensionals. I hate doing this. I hate when that, when I run out and I'm forced to use these edge pieces. All right. Let's put this on here. Probably need one more little sheet. The edges work. You got to use them up. You don't want to waste it. They do work good in some circumstances, those edges, when you need a long, skinny something. All right, let me get all these papers. And then we got we to gotta put the sentiment on the inside. 
Now this is a really dark card base, so you're gonna wanna put a, a layer of basic white on the inside. Um, I always cut it four by five and a fourth. You could cut it smaller if you wanted. Um, and I'm using that black uh, Rich Razzleberry again. Wishing you a wonderful year. And friendships, dear. Cute. So cute. Now, where's my adhesive? Bring the adhesive over. <laughs> right, Debbie? Yep, let the beauty speak for itself. Yep. I always feel like I have to put the sentiment on the outside. I don't know why I feel that way. Because you don't. I mean, you have a whole nother section on the inside of your card to put um, the words on. All right, there we go. Voila, look, he, she is crumb cake and she is soft suede. I don't know which one I like better. You can see more details in the crumb cake one, but the, the soft suede deer is a little more striking. Anyhow, these dies are retiring. They, are they on sale? I meant to get that list. I don't know where I put it. The Christmas tree dies are on the last chance list. I don't think they are. Where did I put that last chance list? I don't think they're on in the sale. Somebody check and tell me or somebody will know. I'm going to pull it out right here. Whimsy trees bundle. No, they're not on sale. When whimsical. Where are they? Right here. Christmas tree dies. They are not on sale, but they are retiring. That's a good set. And I will tell you that I'm really sad that the ribbon is gone from this suite, the pink frayed ribbon. I think the paper is gone. I read some, some grumblings yesterday on Facebook that the, even the paper is gone. I can't verify that, but I think that's true, which is, which is upsetting because it's really good paper and I would have liked to get a little bit more. Okay, let's move on. Let me see, what do I need over here? Let me get a drink. Okay, let's move on. And Ashley, are you here? Ashley posted a picture yesterday on her Facebook page of a little Debbie snack. And I said, guess what I'm making tomorrow? A box for those. She had the vanilla ones, which would have been my choice too, Ashley. Um, but I have the chocolate ones. And we're going to make a box for these. You've got to make a little Debbie box. Right? You have to. There's so many little Debbie treats. And I even noticed on the box, Santa, his old bag is full of all of those little Debbie snacks. I don't know. It made me laugh. Little Debbie. I like little Debbie. All right. This is what we're making. We have made this box before. Um, it is the same size as, you know, why change it when you've made it before and the measurements fit? So we're going to make um, a box with the Peaceful Deer Bundle. All right, so you're gonna need a piece of soft suede. Yeah, <laughs> there you are, Ashley. Was it delicious? Was it as delicious as it looked? I haven't, I haven't eaten my little Debbie snacks, but I can't stay out of. I bought some white chocolate covered pretzels at the grocery store because I went to the grocery store hungry, which we all know is a huge mistake, and I cannot stay out of them. They have um, their Christmas, and they have Christmas. Um, you know, sprinkles on them are so good. So good. I'm, I've almost eaten the whole bag. So luckily I'll be done. <laughs> and then I'll move on to something else. I'm sure oh, this time of the year, I just lose it, lose all control. All right. Soft suede eight by eight and a half. Okay. Let's start on the long side. We're going to do one and three eighths, three and seven eighths, five and a fourth and seven and three fourths. All of these measurements are over on my blog. Okay. So don't, you know, frantically write them down. You can go get them over there. Um, and the short side, one and three eighths and six and five eighths. All right. Now, do I have a bone folder here? How do I lose the bone folder? How does that happen? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe Pepper carried it away. No, she didn't hear this. <laughs> Oh, Pepper, Pepper, Pepper. This morning I walked Pepper. Pepper and I walk every morning. Um, and you would think she'd be exhausted all day, but she's not. But anyway, this morning we came upon another schnauzer. And it was a barking contest. They spoke to each other in the schnauzer language. And it was quite funny. 
<laughs> at least the other owner was like, yeah, yeah, I know. She barks all the time too. Okay, now you've got, <laughs> um, these two sections are the same. These two sections are the same. And this one is skinnier, okay? So we're gonna cut off on the skinnier section. We're gonna cut off those um, rectangles there on the end. And I'm gonna cut this one, this long skinny tab at an angle. Now we're gonna come over here and snip all of these. And you know what? I'm gonna do something different today than I normally do. This lid is going down into the box a little bit like that um, because the box is a little bit taller, I guess, than the um, treat. So usually I say cut this to be equal to that, but we're gonna do something different because if we leave those tabs longer, it will prevent that lid from falling down into the box. So we're gonna try that. But we've gotta cut all this. All You wanna cut the corners off the square tabs too. Okay, did I do that over here? I did not. And so here's the dilemma. Usually we cut these two to equal that. Let's see what it's like not doing that. And let's just cut off the corners and see if it'll slide into the box a little bit better, okay? We're doing a little experiment. I'm, I'm going off the cuff here. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. All right, now I'm gonna glue this with Tombow and my clothespins for some reason are over there. I'm gonna put adhesive on the outside of the four square tabs and fold those up into the ends. I use Tombow, well, I use Tombow because it is, it holds, like it is not gonna come off at all. Um, here in South Texas where it is muggy, my, my projects will, pop open frequently. Um, but also, I'm a little bit lazy and I, the tear and tape, sometimes I'm too lazy to use that. So that's why I'm using Tombow. Now I have these little dollar store um, clothes pens that are just, we're just gonna hold that closed while it dries. And we'll make our tag and our reindeer. This one, why do I have two? One for punching. Hmm, I don't know why I have two. Was this, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Who knows? All right, there is a second punch in this stamp set um, that coordinates with the punch. And it's this one right here. And it has the words on it, which I love. It says, oh, what fun. I think that's quite fun. We're also gonna stamp, oh, I didn't get my gold embossing powder. We're gonna emboss in gold. I love gold embossing powder on cherry cobbler. We're gonna put a little Merry Christmas. I'm gonna do this. Let's see if I can pull it down a little bit. Stamp that in the corner because I don't want it to be too big. There we go. Ooh, look, my gold is spilling. Gold emb embossing powder, which is in the Metallics embossing powder collection <laughs> pack, multi-pack, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I have cut out a label from the Hippo and Friends dies. I don't use this label very much, but I do like it. And we're going to use the tree. Why do the comments keep disappearing? Um... One for the deer and one for the background, but I already I already um, stamped that or cut that out. I don't know why I, I have that other piece. Um, a golf cart just drove by my house. That's very strange. We don't usually see golf carts in our neighborhood. Huh. It's fun, though. I wish we had a golf cart. <laughs> He's got a cooler on the front of it, too. Wow. Okay. Sorry. That was interesting. This is... Um, garden green ink and I'm going to stamp these trees once and then stamp again over there so it's lighter and then stamp 
skin in full strength and over here so it's light. And then maybe I'll do a darker one there and a lighter one there. Okay, so the darker ones look like they're in the front and the lighter ones look like they are in the back. Now we'll get our punch and we will punch out our deer. Let's see if we can get that like that. And then I've got that brush metallic cardstock again and we'll cut out the antlers. Because if I was a deer, I'd want gold antlers too. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure how my husband feels about that. My husband, when in our old house, um, we had, he, he has a mount, a deer mount. And um, it was hanging in the office that I then took over as my, oops, look, I messed that up. As my scrapbook room. And we decorated it once, one night. When he wasn't there, we decorated it with like a bow. So my kids were little and glitter and it was really funny. I mean, not permanent, but that always makes me think of that. When I put gold on a deer, he, he's like stomach is turning <laughs> when he sees those things. You know, it's what happens when you, when you have three daughters and a wife and you're a, you're a, you know, he's like a macho man, but yet he has to live with all the pink and the glitter and the feathers and the, all the fun. All right, there we go. You know, where's my sample? Yeah, that's right. I wanted to make sure I did that right. Let's turn on that heat tool before I mess this up again and heat set our words. Oh, I'm not plugged in. How did that happen? How did that happen? Who's in here? Hello, Mac. He's looking for crumbs. He's always looking for crumbs, that one. Very food motivated. All right, so Merry Christmas. And you know, you probably don't necessarily even have to do this, Merry Christmas, um, because the deer has, oh, what fun on it, but I felt like we needed a little something else. So two, we have two sentiments on this one. Okay, why is FB being so glitchy? <laughs> yeah, Joan, for sure. For sure. This morning, I took my daughter. She has to be at school at 6 for basketball practice, which is, we live 15, 20 minutes away from school, so you can imagine we leave really early. Um, and when I got back, I don't know if my mom's watching, she had brought over some blueberry muffins that she had bought for her art class. There were some left over, whatever. Well, Mac had gotten them off the counter and enjoyed them for breakfast. They were those big blueberry muffins too. I gotta move this guy over, he's not far enough over. So I was worried today we might have some issues, if you know what I mean. But so far, so far no issues. I had taken Pepper with me, so she was not a partaker in that. And Charlie, he doesn't really care about food. I know it was Mac, it's always Mac when it's food. All right, let's put our, our Christmas tree. Let's see how our longer tabs work. I think that it's gonna work just fine. Yep, they go in just fine. And that way, that will keep that, see, look at that. That keeps that from falling down. How many years did it take me to figure that out? Quite a few. All right, this paper is the Sweet stocking paper, you know, all the, the dog, the cat. That's what that print is from. It's very cute and it's retiring. And if you haven't gotten it, you're going to want to get it. I just double checked and it's still in stock. So you're going to want to get that DSP, especially if you have those sweet stocking guys. I'm cutting a piece that I forgot, by the way. That's what I'm doing. Um, especially if you get those stocking dies that are 50% off. And then of course you're going to want the matching stamp set. And then, um, hello, you need the paper. And speaking of those dies, now I've told you guys before, this is just a strip of soft suede. Okay. And it's too long. I'm going to have to cut it. Let's see what size we need. It was 11 inches. Um, speaking of those dies, I've told you guys before that I have some dies. I have multiple sets of that. 
that die set might be one you want multiple sets of because if you stamp a bunch of those animals and you color them in, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna take you a while to cut them all with the dies. So if you had two sets of those dies, it would take half the time. See where I'm going with this? I know, you know, some our dies are pricey. You don't necessarily wanna buy two sets of dies normally, but when they're on 50% off, you might wanna think about it. I, let me just tell you, today I cut, where did that one go? I cut, hold on, let me show you. You know this die right here? The, um, oh, what's it called? <sighs> anyway, this die, <laughs> Somebody's going to say it. I only have one of this one, and I needed to cut 190 pieces of white cardstock for my Club Create. Um, so I went and borrowed, and they are on unorderable right now. So I went and borrowed my downline Deborah set, and I was able to cut them twice as fast because I had two. So sometimes having two sets of dies is very helpful. It still took me about, I, I timed myself, about 30 minutes to cut all of those, which was a long time. <laughs> um, this is our cherry cobbler and gold ribbon. It's gorgeous. Picture this, thank you. You guys are quick, so quick. Um, Nina, the, um, the heat tool holder came from a place on Etsy one of my lovely watchers of Facebook Friday sent it to me. It's a, it was a husband and wife company and that husband has recently passed away. So I'm not sure if they still have things for sale. He would make them with his 3d printer. Who knows what that crafters companion is that what it's called? Somebody will tell me too. somebody will, somebody will tell me cause I can't ever remember anything's name. Okay. Look at that. Boom, done. Did you see how I made that? That's a, just a belly band. Wrapped that ribbon around it, put that on there and voila, we are done. And look, it doesn't fall down in there. I, you know, you can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> All right, that is it for today. It feels so weird to get done so quickly because usually we go at least another 30 minutes. Did you guys like these projects? Crafter Solution on Etsy, is that what it's called? Thank you. Yeah, check them out um, for that. This is what she's talking about. Um, I don't know if they're still selling things. Um, I think the last I heard they were gonna simplify um, what they were selling maybe, but check them out. Okay, so we're done. Let's look at what we made. Remember that I think the make and takes, free make and takes will be this one. One of them will be this one. This is too many, um, <laughs> too many trees for me to cut out. But this one I can handle doing a bunch of. Um, so if you would like the make and takes, remember, orders go in by Monday at midnight. Here's the host code. It's also on my blog post. It's very important that you go over to my blog to enter to win. What am I giving away? I'm giving away a good one. Let me get it. Hold on. It fell down over here. Tomorrow I'll be giving away the, gin the Christmas season bundle with those awesome seasonal label dies. That's another one I have two sets of because then you can cut, you know, lots of labels or tags at once. You know, sometimes you just, you, you got to go for speed. Anyways, those aren't on sale. These are carrying over, correct? Yes, they are. So we'll, we'll continue to have those. Okay, that is it. I will be back tomorrow at two o'clock with the frosted gingerbread sweet. Yay, I'm so excited about that one. Um, one of my favorite things in the holiday catalog. Make sure you guys check out the last chance list before things sell out. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great evening, guys. Bye.